Hey, Thunderfoot, I'll give you something to stutter about. You remember when you were in that uh, little supposed debate you had with Ray Comfort? You stuttered like a school kid getting caught stealing something. You were so nervous you couldn't hardly sit still. You couldn't even you were stuttering like crazy. I'll give you something to stutter about. Why don't you accept my challenge to debate, man? Come on, let's do this. I mean, you have this big mouth behind a video camera, you know, where you talk down about creation and creationists and Christians. You say we're stupid, we're idiotic, you know, we're backward people, you know. And you make all these videos talking about scientific information and evidences that support your worldview and shoot down mine. Well, if that's all so well and good and so true, show the world how easy it is to mop up a creation tard. Well, in a formal debate. Oh, another demand to debate from a creationist. Uh, more specifically, a man who thinks that the craters on the moon were caused by Noah's flood. And the great pressure of the crust of the Earth, six miles of it, on, on this water, caused the water to eject from the Earth at supersonic speed. Much of this water escaped the escape velocity of the Earth and headed toward the moon, where the moon's gravity accelerated it, and the moon was pelted by water frozen from the uh, frozen water which came from inside the earth at the beginning of the Noachian flood. Well, sure enough, I'll be happy to debate you under any conditions with the sole provision that you can demonstrate the validity of this statement. Now consider a larger nozzle and a smaller nozzle. Let's say the pressure between these two on the left and right are, is the same. On the left we have a larger nozzle. The water will eject at a lower velocity. That is in an ideal or frictionless system. And when I say demonstrate, I mean without violating things like uh, conservation of energy. Look, I know, let's make this entertaining now. Uh, you show up on the Magic Sandwich Show this Sunday at 3 p.m. and merely demonstrate this single point, which you have repeatedly made, and I'll be happy to debate with you. Put up or shut up. Come on. Show your 109,000 subscribers why you're correct and I'm incorrect. Who's got the truth? I should be easy pickings if you're so right and I'm so wrong. Because you sure talk like it. Yeah, you said it, Neff. It's put up or shut up. I'll be honest, Neff. I'm keen for you to perform this miracle of redefining physics for your God in front of hundreds, maybe thousands of people. However, I suspect that the magic man in your head is about as good a grasp of physics as you do. I mean, the bottom line is, Neff, I know you can't do this. And it's going to be amusing to see what excuses you come up with for why the imaginary magic superman in your head, you know, the one that you believe created everything, couldn't handle a little bit of simple physics. And yeah, just to raise the stakes a little, you don't show, you'll be the star of the next Why Do People Laugh at Creationists episode.